tis the season, as they say. Since this is an After Effects tutorial, we're gonna go through several Christmas effects and motion graphics that are vital for Christmas projects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Hope you're doing excellent today. Be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously. So these Christmas and winter techniques in this video are gonna help you pull off pretty much any sort of, you know, end of the year Christmas holiday project. So let's jump in. Let's get started with our techniques. All right, so the first thing we need to talk about when building out a scene like this is I always start from the background and then build our scene out first. So our background consists of obviously the gradient background and then these hills here. Let me show you how this is done. So what I've done, I just created a new solid and we use a gradient ramp, right? It's a gradient ramp effect. So to create the land, it's very easy to do this in After Effects. All I'm gonna do is come here and grab the ellipse tool and I'm gonna come here and create these snowy type hills just like this. So I created several ellipse type circles to create the first layer of our snow land. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one more snowy type land as well. So this will have a background and a foreground. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring down my front here and I'm going to affect perspective and grab a drop shadow. I'm gonna set the direction to zero degrees and I'm gonna set my softness to like 95. So by using lips and the drop shadow, we can create a really cool snowy hill here, but I wanna add quick few effects to really make this pop a little bit more. So I'm coming to a layer, new adjustment layer, stylize, and we're gonna grab CC vignette, and we can keep it at that. And I'm going to affect noise and grain and add some noise to this. And I'll set this up to like maybe 8% uncheck use color noise. So that's how you can create a background, just create yourself a solid of a gradient ramp. And if you wanna create a little bit of a foreground object here, you can, I'll talk about the trees uh, in a few moments. All right, so next up, I wanna talk about how you can get that golden shine look for your titles or other graphics you're working with right here. So we already have a title typed out in here. Uh, I'm using the font Allura. I never pronounce fonts correctly, so hopefully I'm correct. But the first thing I wanna do to create that shine look, I'm gonna to go to effect, generate, and grab a gradient ramp. We'll zoom out here and you'll see the anchor points. Go ahead and bring one straight to the top and the bottom one to the bottom like this. And we'll come here to the start of color and we'll select like a nice brown, yellowish color like this. And then we'll just go ahead and kind of select that same color and come here to the end of color and bring this one to be a little bit darker. Okay, so this is a good start, but let's go ahead and make this pop. Let's come here to effect, generate, and we're gonna grab the CC light sweep effect. And we'll come here to the direction. We can set this to like maybe 90-ish degrees. We'll move it around a bit, but we can come here, take that anchor point. You'll see we can place this on top of the title like this, and you get a nice sort of shine look here, but I want to expand on this. So we'll come here to shape, set this to smooth, and we'll come here to the width, and we'll set this up to like maybe 120. You might have to adjust the center point of this. So maybe I just want this to be on the top part or I can change the direction of this, you know, kind of mess around with what I want here. So this looks cool. I want to add a few more effects here. So I'm gonna come here to effect, uh, perspective and grab a bevel alpha. And I'm gonna set the edge thickness to one. So it's not doing too much. And then we'll go to effect perspective and we'll grab a drop shadow. You might not need a drop shadow. It just depends on what you're working with. I'll set the distance to two and then maybe increase the opacity by a little bit and then duplicate the drop shadow and then set the softness up to like 40 or so. And this will help the title stand out. Now I wanna add a little bit of animation to this. So this is what I would do for a sort of wintery Christmas font. I would come here, open up your title layer, go to animate and I would simply just add an opacity and I would come here to add property and add a blur. This is where I would decrease the blur by a little bit like this and then decrease the opacity 0%. Come here, range selector, add a keyframe for start. We'll move forward, maybe to two seconds because we want this to be slow and set this to 100%. And we'll go ahead and make both keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now you get that very nice fade in for your title. Before we roll on, if you're looking to produce professional work inside of After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has 750 plus templates for all your post-production motion graphic needs. That link will be in the description and if you pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, for our third technique, I wanna talk about adding in overlay graphics. So you see these ornaments here, even these trees, they all fall in the same technique. I'm gonna show you how you can quickly do this. So there's a website called freepix.com. What I can do is come here, search up whatever I'm wanting to use and I can find all these really cool, uh, you know, illustrator graphics uh, that I can use in After Effects but you need Adobe Illustrator to get this ready for After Effects. So go ahead and find what you wanna use and download it from this website. It's free, 
So then I can open up that download in Adobe Illustrator and we have these layers here. And you know, I wanna go through each of these groups here to kind of find where these ornaments are laying out. So I can turn them off. I can see that this is the group right here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of find an ornament that I wanna use here, select that group, come here to the right side and click right here, right where my uh, cursor's at, and that will select everything. What I'm gonna do is copy this, you know, go to edit, copy, and then I'm gonna go to file, new. We're gonna go ahead and create a new document, 1920 by 1080 is fine, and click on create. And then I'm just gonna come here and paste this selection in here, so, edit paste of course and I can come here and just make it a little bit bigger if I want and I'm gonna size this to the top and then what I'm gonna do is if I want to add more you know ornaments or graphics specifically I can come here to the bottom and create a new layer and I'm gonna paste each new graphic into its own layer so now I've pasted four different ornaments here, graphics, into their own layers right here in my Illustrator file. Then when I'm ready to move over to After Effects, go to File, Save As, and save this as an Illustrator file. And then I'll go ahead and bring in my ornaments saved Illustrator file into here. It'll ask you how to import it. This time around, I'm gonna do Composition, click OK. And I'm gonna go into that comp, and you'll see that we have our ornaments here. This is where I'm gonna kind of rearrange the layout a little bit, but specifically, uh, add our animation to this. So what I'm gonna do is say grab layer one here, which is the star. I'm gonna come here and grab the pan behind tool. You'll see the anchor points right in the middle. I'm gonna move the anchor point to be right here at the top because I want this to be rotating. So for example, I'm gonna hit R my keyboard for rotation. I'll click the stopwatch and I'm gonna type in wiggle, open parenthesis, one comma, 30, close parenthesis, something like that. And now we're gonna have this animation in here. So then I can do this for the other layers as well. So now I have all of our objects here animating from the top and when we're ready to bring this into our main composition, we have it right here in our project panel. I'll come here to our main comp and I'll just overlay this uh, into our composition like so. Maybe I'll put it underneath the title uh, graphic so it stands out a little bit better. And now we have taken our comp to the next level uh, with this ornament animation. Now I also use this technique to add some trees as well. You'll see that I downloaded from FreePix a tree, part of a bigger comp. So be thinking about how you can actually combine assets uh, that you can download for free into After Effects to help you save time, but specifically help you produce awesome working, help you build out scenes uh, like this. So that's that quick technique here for After Effects. So this last technique is a very quick one, but I have to show you how to do it or this tutorial would not be complete, which is simply creating snow effect uh, right here, which I've done in the past, but I'll show you how to quickly do it. For this, what we'll do is go to layer new solid, call it snow, click OK. And then we'll go to effect, uh, simulation, and we'll grab CC, snowfall, it's the easiest effect to use. Uh, come over here, make sure you click on composite with original, so then there it is. And there's a few different settings we can go through here, so maybe the background illumination can go down to you know, 0%, so we can really see the snow, and maybe set the opacity to 100%, and that will make everything you know, stand out. Make sure this is below your vignette layer, that will kind of help out a little bit. I'm also going here to effect stylize. I'm going to grab glow and I'm going to duplicate our glow effect and I'm going to come here to the glow radius and just really expand this. Now with all these effects and motion graphic techniques combined together, you could have a really cool winter Christmas scene here inside of After Effects. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, good luck on your end of the year projects and create something awesome. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week that will continue on to next year as well. You're gonna hit us up on our Instagram. We have tutorials and After Effects related content on there as well. And always be creative.